Hello and welcome. Right, it is the session for cleaning up and I am going to miss Ed's work. We're just going to grab the small amount of carrots and then we're going to belt system the... I've got both trailers here, so yeah, we should be able to do this if I can get my levels right, which I've never been very good at, but we should, we should see what we see. Yeah, also the ground level keeps changing as well, so you get it right one minute and then the next minute it changes. <laughs> it's true. Got to be very careful here because even Bulkatin, we all know. Yeah, obviously, Giants have changed things for the worst for us as players. I do know why. It, there was many content creators that, and obviously players that did used to use that trick, where you could use um, a little bit of grass and a little bit of hay, and then change an entire fields of um, grass to hay, things like that. By by the way that the system works. Um, I mean, DJ sort of loves tricks like that. And uh, but obviously Giants are trying to make the game a serious game, so therefore, it, it, to them, it was a little bit like the cars. They've become an immutable force, um, like the Incredible Hulk. Uh, you cannot shift them, no matter, you'll, you can hit them with a truck. There's 10 times the weight and you're gonna come off worse. <laughs> Definitely, they are like, uh, immovable uh, they, uh, and obviously it's, it's sort of a mockery but it was caused by players um, sort of doing things as, which sort of mocked Giants work as they probably saw it really whereas people were just having a bit of fun really but yeah it's, uh, it's one of those things they were building mountains out of uh, cars and things like that because you could do what you liked with them and obviously this wasn't something that Giants were <laughs> really what you need to do so yeah but it's it, that was a monster session it really was yesterday and yeah I did a what taught me to be a little bit more careful is I actually lost quite a few tons of uh, sugar beets as I flipped around with the belt system yeah I did look in editing I've got to be honest because I've done that a lot now there's a lot of where I'm still not getting the uh, when I flip around with this, I still treat the belt system a little bit horrible when it goes on its side because I do I go too sharply now. Typically, I can't do it now. But yeah, when you when you're busy, you can you can flip it. Uh, obviously, also you do go over the uh, piles of beetroot and uh, the, all the piles of whatever root crop you're on. So I do apologise in advance. I yeah, I've got like this bulk is really it's worse now but I needed to concentrate on some stuff I'll just just go and do the cleanup it's not that major I just need something to concentrate on so I apologize in advance if I like cough or splutter and all that type of stuff suddenly because it just comes on very quickly I'm gonna be so careful here yeah so yes yeah, so really now it's gone bad as these things usually do um, yeah, it's like the law also does things like that. It's been it's good to begin with, and then someone takes the mick, and then the law toughens up. Why is that not getting there? Always been terrible with this. Right, oh, now this is the real tough bit. Yeah, we're we'll gonna have to really gently. Let's do it a little. Yeah, because basically we will waste a ton to grab a few litres of beet, of uh, sugar beets uh, if we do this wrong. And that, that's what happens. It is so easy to do, as I found in the map. Yeah, my word brain's awful. Zilonka. Yeah, that's the one. On Zilonka, yeah, where we were doing a lot of the vegetables. Yeah. Yeah, it's so really the... the the beet mini, I, I think I said it, but uh, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It is the fact that it's little tail that unloads. It's a little bit like I now, I with this, if you're unloading onto the ground, because of the game, obviously in real life, you could offload it on someone else's field if the field was empty, of course. Um, but obviously the game won't allow you to do that because it's someone else's land and they, it's, what again, one of those you know, giants things, one of those game rules that we have to play by so because of that you've got to go into your own field so once I've figured that out actually the uh, beat mini I'm really loving it I've got to be honest I almost threw that out of the game a long time ago and really again like a lot of things it was my misunderstanding the model why is that not in this time 
surely should be. Yeah. Yeah, I really, I really did. And now the bulwark, that isn't, that isn't me, not this time. That really is sort of broken, as we saw in uh, literally on video the other day. Uh, hoping that'll get pissed because that would be such an asset for doing this type of crops for little farmers. Really, uh, you know, I mean, we really can't afford the big equipment, and there are little tiny harvesters and such like things. So it really is. I mean, what on earth? Come on, for heaven's sake! Is it me? I've got to be honest. I'm not sure it's all me. I, I've had this before. I love the samurai, but. I've always struggled with this, and yet yeah, I use the bucket uh, by Ridiculous Dominic. It's the only a two tonner, but it's obviously the adapted um, Albert, the single tonner. And I had no difficulty at all with that. I always seem to struggle. It, it works a little bit, and then it doesn't work, and then it does, and you get the angle, and then it does a little tiny bit, and then, yeah, so although I do love the Samurai. Some of it might be me, but not all of it, because I've used other other tools. It's just because I've favoured this a lot, and it can be used as a bucket, but I just don't... Yeah, it's a bit... It didn't work now, it does. It's a bit like that. It's fantastic, but I just don't... No, no, fantastic, that's working. I wonder if it was because it was fighting the beads. Alright, so then. Yeah, there's a lot of this. I bought both trainers. I know we're not going to need a lot of this, but let's, let's quit while we're ahead as well. I don't be like mixing and losing almost two tons of carrots, even though it's not a lot, it is, I, I, I would say we've already lost some tonnage of beets, as I say, because of the new rules on FS22 that do prevent you, or, you know, I don't, I, yeah, it's just, it, they've gone the other way, the giants have gone the other way, they were generous on that, as in like it was in your favour, and then because people took the mick, they have uh, like done right, okay, stuck with them, but we'll, we'll do it another way. And <laughs> now you end up losing any kind of crop, you'll lose a bit of grass, you'll lose a bit of hay, all because of the fact that people did do that. And that it's such is life, it is, that is the nature of the beast. We all have seen it a thousand times at work where the rule was more lenient and then someone took the mick and then now all of a sudden it's no longer lenient. Yeah, you know, see, look, you, you pick it up, now all of a sudden you don't pick it up. Yeah, it's weird. It was right, the ground, yeah, now, yeah, again, now it is again. No, it's not. It, it's just so... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, nice one, I'm going to it. No, I didn't see I've only got a tiny, weedy bit. There are, I, all, in, all implements are not equal, and they're really, I mean, the Samurai is a jack of all trades, and as with all such things, it's not a master of them all. Yeah, it's a, yeah, you see, I didn't even move at all, and now all of a sudden I'm grabbing it without any kind of change. It's really strange, and the, the field's fairly level. There's not much up, up and down, really. Yeah, now all of a sudden I'm not doing anything again. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely on the ground. See how level I am. Weird. Ah, I don't have access to this land so easy because the right hand edge is. Ah, maybe it is. No, 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 no. See, see, yeah. Maybe that the headland thing is causing issues again. Possibly. Just make something that should be an easy job. Okay, okay. I always like to make these, when I make a claim and I'll say, oh, it's something. So what we're gonna do, we have got very little money, but we're gonna put our money where our mouth is. Let's try, because it might be that it's just the edge of the field. It might be absolutely nothing. I'm gonna give myself, because this is a test, it really is. So we're gonna go for the ridiculous Dominic version of the Albert Universal bucket which is i don't know where it is. i think it's still in here yeah i had no trouble no trouble at all with this uh in its i mean it does cost pennies but what i'm just trying to see is it is it me it could be and that that's my point i want to prove to everybody including myself i don't know where it is otherwise i'd uh probably is toward the end actually 
Here we go. It's ridiculous, Dominic. Isn't it? Yes, it is. I was going to say, yeah, the Universal bucket is also. I mean, obviously, it's got a, it's got a an, a, an unrealistic. Yeah, this has got an unrealistic capacity. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, I'm on the, I was going to say I'm on the wrong one because I know it hasn't. It's only extended. It really is bigger. So we'll keep it that color as well. Uh, oh, do we really worry? No, no, because yeah, I, I'm. I don't think I'm worried about the leasing cost, though, really. I think if we... I know we're sort of quite uh, skint, but, yeah, I just would like to sort of prove, is this me, or is it not just me imagining that the samurai's a little bit temperamental? I mean, I've used this such a lot, and favoured it a lot, and I've struggled for absolutely ages, because I've almost always... Um, Use this as a for, as a bucket. I've done so much recently. I've been trying other things as well because I don't like to just favour one thing. I mean, I've also done the Joskin again, but that's a little bit big um, as well. So I've left that for a while. To be honest, I, yeah, you've always got too many mods. Yeah, my reactions are terrible. Just not my normal self. So let's try that, shall we? Is it me? I do like the fact that this also, you can sort of see the angle that you should have it at. But is this going to be tricky? Or is it the samurai? Well, I would say it's the samurai. Really? Gotta give you do this time, that's pretty much pretty conclusive that the samurai well, I needed to prove it to myself really as well, because obviously I do favour the samurai a lot, but if it's gonna make you like I was saying this the other day, there's a lot of mods I've got in there, fantastic boards. So yeah, some of them are like a little bit now. Now that is probably Yeah, I'm sort of like ooh, okay no I didn't it's a little bit. I think we managed to get that. Yeah, we did. So there you go. The Albert buckets. That was much and no problems at all. It working and then it not working. It just worked. And that to myself is important because really I could remove the samurai. I am in you know, the MX. I'm often using as a front box, even though it's as I said. And I will. When I say something that's only three thousand five hundred is expensive. I'm always talking as a start from scratch where I can get something smaller for 500 euros or so it's not that it's terrible it really isn't it's uh, I think what we're going to do though is <coughs> excuse me we are going to purchase said buckets and oh oh and I think well, yeah, we will. Well, it's true. I've got to. I've got to get a bit more ruthless with this. Truthfully, we are going to sell the samurai. It really pays for that. So, I apologise for being on camera. Really, that's a little bit. Uh, yeah, again, uh, just not my normal self. Where you're thinking about uh, type of thing. I am very. It was instinctive. Everything I did yesterday was instinctive rather than you know, thought. Yeah, so right, let's... Do we need to go into a time-lapse? This is very quick. Very quick, really, when you're doing... Although, uh, no, I'm quite happy. I don't care if it's just all we managed to do is clean up this, really. I'll be very happy with that. Uh, right, so... Yeah, I'm not, I don't know that I've mentioned this much, either, because... Even I thought that I made this look fairly easy. It's not. No, you, there's a bit of an art to it. So I'm going to switch this on for a minute for those who are interested. You go in from the horse tip, so say unload here, where it literally will. Obviously, it's going to be switched on as well. <laughs> so what you do first is you push the stuff around, which will do it anywhere, but it won't tip into the back of a truck or anything like that. So you use it to shift it first into piles 
obviously the, the front of this is the bit that's important, that's where it catches it from. Even now, I know I'm, I was looking in that and I was thinking, I think I can still make this a little bit better. There's, there's, a, there's something I'm missing, and I, I said this a long while ago, I, I pioneered this an awful long time ago, this particular type of loading, but not in this way. And you learn little tricks over time, you're like, oh, I think I could improve on that, but I don't think I've quite got that right. So, yeah, that, I have done that. So, yeah, basically, you make your little pile like that, and then you stop your loading like that, because you just switch it on then, which means that when a truck comes by, it will unload straight into it. Where are we? Let's see if you look at... Okay, yeah, I forgot I broke down the bottom line, so I did shift it down there. For that pile that, that is down there. Yeah, so there's not a lot of this left, but there's enough that I knew, yeah, that, oh wow, I didn't really watch that at all, yeah, because we did actually do that area. But yeah, this patina, having that um, back door that you can go through, that is an asset. Yeah, really cracking uh, mod, this. One of the most reasonable, I think it is the cheapest trailer, but it's not only cheap, it's also very good by nasty modding. Yeah, it's a cracker. It really is. So not. Yeah, I mean, so there are some. Remember the four shrinks. Um, what it was called, but it had about three or four functions. And uh, the Looney Farms in guy. I love, I love his reviews. He's quite saving. Uh, I was looking at his review on the four shrinks. A coupling tro trolley, and he says uh, game changer or question mark. And I still to this day remember, he is right, it could, if that mod had been made, now that we're high, it's like that really, if that mod had been made well, it would be one of those bits of kit that everyone would have in their arsenals on every let's play, because it did quite a few things. Cultivator, it, it was a weeder, I can't remember what else it was, that's a while, but it really was a cracking mod, but it was buggy, it, it didn't work properly. So therefore, it stressed you out. It's one of those bits of kit that, if it had been made a little bit better, you really, everyone would want one, really. And it's, it's such a shame when, uh, again, there are really good modders, like A2 Studios, Rory Christie, that are just, uh, well, over Tartner as well. I mean, you can't forget over Tartner, she's an absolute whiz. But, uh, yeah, and also the ability that she's got for knocking mods out, factories, you name it, all the time is not. Well, now they're amazing. Some of them are others. Yeah, she's, uh, well, again, it's, it's all a matter of opinion, isn't it, really? I, yeah, I was a bit not blown away by her farm factory. I thought the cycles were a bit weak in comparison to other things of a similar nature. And that might be the case, but then again, it's a bit like the Lords. The Lords uh, All in One is brilliant, and I favour that a lot. But recently, since Farmer Jeb, uh, creates pig food out of the waste product, which is quite believable. It's, it's not like beyond the realms of, of believable, that like the spare sugar beet, the, the, what you would be cutting that would be a residue, could be used for pig food. Uh, and I, yeah, I mean, we used to call it, uh, when I was a kid, pig swill was what it was called, really. Let's do this like that. And they used to feed pig, and then all of a sudden, as these things do, they all got funny about pig swill for some reason. This where the sub farm used a bit of a rock uh, thing on it, and some pigs got poorly once, or because of someone's daftness, then everybody had to suffer because all of a sudden you can't have pig swill anymore. But the bottom line is, pigs do eat pretty much anything. I, my, uh, I mean, I know pigs a lot because actually, it's what my. Uh, my uncle um, favoured when he was a farmer, well, nearly bankrupt to the family actually, was going into pigs at the wrong time when pig market, the bottom dropped out of it. Well, it's more of this than that of all, really. You talked. Yeah, so I mean, that was when pigs were, when I was very young, when it was pigs were still allowed. I think they used to get, but yeah, potato peelings and all manner of stuff used to go into pigs were, and the pigs were quite happy. It made them poorly or real or anything like that. Uh, but then all of, all of the sudden regulations come in as they do. And someone wants to make money is the usual culprit. So they want to like limit the old way of doing things because it means they can't make money because people are going to use pig's will 
over their expensive deeds. It's usually the case. <laughs> and they've got a friend who's in power. <laughs> yeah, it's usually the way. Yeah, definitely. Wink, wink. No, it is, it is definitely the way, yeah. The world is full of things that go on like that. Yeah. A bit of a conspiracy theorist, but it is true. The bottom line is there's a lot of things that go on. Well, even if I look at Putin and the things that go on, really, and the corruption in those with power. Yeah, I mean, I've all, always said this. As much as I come from obviously Great Britain and it's a democratic um, country, I've got to be honest, um, what Stalin taught, um, really, that equal equality for everybody is a far better system. However, the Russians and the Chinese have certainly proved that under human things, such a system is as corrupt as any other system. Yeah, the bottom line is that all people being equal is a fantastic idea. If somebody in charge wasn't corrupt and you all got an equal, you know, what, what the system says you should all get. But, but in reality, that's not what actually happens. Yeah. Sort of the, the people for the people and everybody getting an equal slice of the pie is a fantastic idea. Rather utopian. Obviously, the reality was um, Stalin, I think. Was, was it Stalin or was it? I think it was. was it, I can't get my, my history. There was another person other than Stalin that made that level of socialism. I remember it was Trotsky or. Sure, that does, I'm not sure that sounds quite sounds right. But yeah, I did use to the. Uh, it's just going to slice them down. I'm not sure we can go that much. It's only a little bit left then after that. Yeah, you can see we're going through the white back. A little bit naughty, but it does give you. It makes this very, very fantastic. Oh, yeah. about 10 maybe 11 tons perhaps need to go across for this one right lastly the bit and we will have completely got our harvest all got three fields in one yeah i mean they're not very very big did, to be honest root crops are a nightmare anyway but yeah I, I think and also i use the uh, beat mini as well there should be uh, yeah i i've always said i can't use it and i think i was just impatient, didn't have, lack the patience to actually, I don't know why I keep insisting on it, because I love fence, I always gravitate towards coming to this fence and it's a nightmare, <laughs> it really is. Yeah, Schnibble Modern makes a lot of fantastic stuff, but it is only just been released, so I'm not really having a go. It just is one of those parts. That's what I was sort of saying. A bit like the Forshrit coupling trolley, it's if it had been made better and it didn't stress you out, like you know, like it, it works and then it doesn't work. Whatever all but loved it. it. It's you know, like any well-made mod, it can be a bit of a game changer. We go. I think what we're gonna do is we should circle around. Bit and then use that super ability because this has got that bit of a hopper about 500 litres or so and then we'll just grab the last little tiny bit this away fantastic there was an extra ton actually brilliant so we, we have gained the ability to pick things up at the ground with this absolutely fantastic Thing that it is amazing. I do with this. It is so versatile. You can even use it for straw. In fact, I think straw was the first time I ever used it. Obviously, I think a baler and a loader wagon have got the edge on it. It's quicker. It is because you're sort of double handling in a way. But for a massive amount like uh, root props, I think it really is very, very good. Yeah, I loaded a mod in yesterday, the uh, Prinoff Legal um, Pusher, and it says it can push everything everywhere. Now, I did have a dream on Riverside, with root crops actually, of being able to push them into piles, but it was a crash and burn moment. 
where I, I didn't really do. well no I always like to do these things because it's either going to work or it's not I'm not ashamed to like if it doesn't work it was just an idea and, and like this was just an idea and it actually has worked very very well you were you just like to, yeah I think I've made the room a little bit better I think and I'm very glad that I allowed the burning room here like this because it really will serve as well for something big like the lorry Yeah, we still need to go through there. We should, should have just reversed through there like we did last time. Oh, oh no, that's overloading. I do look the way the patina doesn't lift very much either. Uh, it's quite quite amazing. It's not a massive ram. Right, and this is a beautiful lorry. Forgotten. It's weird, it's so powerful. Uh, and it isn't really that powerful. I mean, it's not weak, but it's... Uh, I think it's because our tractors are all like, um, well, we've got one 210 horsepower now. We upgraded the other one, didn't we? Oh, we've had a bit of a tickle for some reason. Right, um, we, ah, that is true. I did say that, didn't I? I wanted to test the plow. I did. Now, all of the tractors are, of course, on that field. Let's go grab one. Uh, yes, actually, you. Uh, oh, I've had the wrong screen. My bad. No, we don't think so anymore. We can take this back to the old. We are running out of space, though. We really need to buy that field. So it's a bit of a toss up because, really, I think we need to invest in a factory. I, off camera yesterday, I was loading all the, the factories and I was thinking, no, oh, these are big factories. We said, well, I suppose, yeah, Zilonka's a uh, Polish, Polish Czech, it said, but it was, seemed to be very Polish to be. And that, of course, uses our factory. So, am I being wrong if I use the? I mean, I wanted to try the preserve, the preserving, preservative one. It's called. It's 110 grand. Obviously, it's a million miles away, but we are approaching the winter. Our pigs are growing, so it might be possible for us. And also, we could look this time of year. We could look to do some contracts to raise that sort of cash. So we could stick that down on one of our existing fields, or what I'd like to do is probably buy those little fields and stick one up there. Uh, yeah, the only bit of room we've got, which is almost the farmyard, is this bit here. Where we seem to drop everything. Yeah, it's the only bit of land we've actually got, so where you can really yeah, get onto it. So I'd be glad that we could buy this field here, or the farmyard, this end. Just wish we could shift the fence. Yeah, because there's one thing you can't do. You can't do any earth shifting when you're on the road. It just doesn't, it's just not, wouldn't be done. You could do it, but... Thought of, well, no, because I've got that mod on that allows you to do on roads, because otherwise you'd never be able to lift or raise because of the roads. So I've, I've got that mod on because it makes life unbearable without it. Right, now, I don't think we grab the... No, we were going to do the plough, weren't we? We need that. Oh, three, three, not three point two tons, not bad. So I'm not sure. I think again, because we've got such a lot of root crops, I think that is probably the most pressing thing. Otherwise, all of the harvest just sitting in our silo, not earning us money. So. Yeah, we've got uh, obviously beets and carrots, not much beets, but enough to start that over. And if we're going to go into it, then we'd need to get a vegetable planter because obviously we need to go in it properly if we're going to do it. Like on Zalonka, we you start to your fields have got to favour that because otherwise. Uh, yeah, I need to shoot that away. It's uh, the best way to do this. I would say like that. Someone has really left that fertilizer spreader in a right silly place. I've, I've got to be careful how I nudge this. Otherwise, when I make it, so I can't grab it except with a lifter. Which is another proof that you really you need it in the farmyard because there's just no room. I am still dropping things everywhere because there's not really much else I can do. I could be tidy with it, I do admit that. But it still doesn't alter the fact that, uh, yeah, 
I, the, my trouble is, and I think it's a man thing, I've, I've been told by lots of ladies, is uh, I, you just drop things where you are. So you finish a job and you drop it. I mean, there are some well-trained men that are like that. So they're, they're better behaved, but yeah. Still, my natural instinct is to drop and just go like that, just be naughty. Right, food for the pigs. Let's have a look. How are we doing? Can't forget our animal husbandry. I think we did look. Yeah, yeah. We did. It's a bit of room. We could actually do a bit of lifting. And we are 50% reproduction and puberty 33% through two months in. So, yeah, well, that's the bit we lost, which is. A great asset because we probably would have had another hundred pigs had we been on the original map without all the changing and that but then we wouldn't have the advantage of this better shade field and the productions where they are now which i personally think is a lot better so swings and roundabouts and that's what i was saying last session yeah you win some you lose some right let's have a little slurry in there how much have we got i think oh 12 tons wow so i'd imagine that's what I imagine. Let's have a look. Let's go and have a look at the. Now, I, I want to come down here, but it's down the other end now, isn't it? We've shifted it. Obviously, we've reversed this, and what was at the other end is now at this, the other end, if that makes any sense at all. Let's grab this but for our fertilised business, which is very important to us. Yeah, it's definitely more than it was. There's, you can't, there's no, yeah, very good. Now then, do we, are we making seeds? I think we are, and if we are, we do need some. Oh, of course, no, that will be feeding it. Yeah, really, oh, that's why our income's not been as good. It's because some Wally has not been selling. That is going to give us a massive bang. It is. Wow, that is amazing. It is. I don't know. That, that escaped my notice. That's because we did the digest date and I'd forgotten to switch that on selling. So on the hour, we're going to make quite a lot of cash. Yeah, we've got, uh, we need to buy some wood chips. I did say we could do that. We could literally for this just buy one or the other to equal it. Uh, do I allow that really? Mm, it's a bit no, because it's sort of buying the thing to sell. It really is. So no, we'll, we'll leave it. We could make wood chips or something, then I'd allow it. Ooh, slurry. We out of water. I think we need to stick a couple of waters direct into that. The the uh, distributor's not actually now. That's probably yeah. There's 158 tons of silage. I'm a little bit short on what we should have on that, but I'm happy. It's not too terrible. Wow, well, yeah. So where's it put all the water? We did have quite a lot after all said and done. A little bit in the liquid manure. Oh, uh, yeah, the outhouse. Again, it was a million of litres last time in that. Right, okay. We need to do a couple of runs of that too. So, is it the outhouse we need it in? Or... Now we've now we've now put manure in that one too. We were favouring this one, so I think we need to uh, get a bit of uh, yeah. This when you're not very well, you don't have to think straight. You just grab something and go with it. It is yeah, it is bad. So this is now the lead tractor, 210 horsepower for the time being. Obviously, it's only got the one yeah. I used to hate tractors like this with a passion, never have one because it's not got... Yeah, I've not tried the Pepe with this, or if I have, I can't remember. But it, they are still useful. Yeah, they can still do an awful lot of things, so... Something was settling in my ear. Ooh. Right, so we need to stick this directly into... Not into the plant pot. Yeah, and we should see if the, uh, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's not a very good steering either, so it's a bit of a pig's ear job, this. We've got to, like, uh, do it sort of in small little bits. Now, also, I have noticed that all of the tractors are really ditched. Yeah, I've not been paying attention. Uh, 
should. Ooh, 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 that's not really what I was trying to achieve. I should get it this time. While that is doing that, it's definitely about time that this actually had a bit of a wash. Yes, it is a nice tractor. It, a very basic model. The steering is awful. But it's a tractor. Its pulling power is good. It's got some nice, decent tyres. So, alright, let's, let's grab the manure and also then wash immediately that that I've been trying to keep as a clean trailer forever and now I've just gone and put manure in it. Yeah, with it being the slightly bigger, I could have sworn when we bought that though, it said it was up to 35 tonnes, but it isn't. It is what it is. Yeah, not that, I mean, 20 tonnes on this map, I've got to be honest, it only just goes through the tunnel. So really, for this particular map, this is probably about what you're supposed to have. Right, let's give that a good old washing. Obviously we'd really do some proper cleaning, not just for the hose pipe. So there's still be a residue of horrible nitrates on that. That's not going to be very good if you were looking something like grain for humans to eat. Definitely not. I would be climbing inside as well, but yeah, we, we do what we can. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of concessions with the game, really, aren't there? Like the way you pick things up, yeah, um, drop them with your three point link, and all that type of stuff. They're all concessions. Right, okay, let's so we'll leave that there. It's now been washed. Let's go grab the slurry. And no, we did stick some water in there. We stuck one lot of 20 tons. We do need to do. I'm thinking that we need a tanker, but it's a little bit tight. So I'm really thinking the stupendous ability of this to offload and the distributor that I'll probably do a few hundred litres, like, uh, yeah, off camera because, yeah, we really need to get on top of this. I have tried to do. Well, I did do it last time. I spent 10 minutes, and that's what I'm saying, they're the little jobs that you sort of like, you do, and then something like this happens and you had to shift the map because something went wrong or whatever, and um, yeah, so it is what it is. Right, what were we doing? Um, slurry, I believe, we were trying to slurry, we weren't supposed to be doing water, of course you got sidetracked. We should stick up, oh, 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 yeah, remember it's not terribly water steering around things. I do like that. I'm quite pleased with that actually. They're the type of details that I'm a terror for that I've got to get better because it's, it's about inviting people in and obviously what everybody else would like to see. If you're going to invite people in you've got to change your habits from what you want that you know like I, I'm just rough and ready and you know I'm a yeah. I keep, I keep forgetting my words. Efficiency is probably my number one thing I always talk about, and probably also, I have said this too, that it is inefficient um, to leave stuff lying around like I do. I've got to get better because that's. Ooh, no, we did notice that. Fantastic. Yeah, it's to drop something just where it is is terribly inefficient, really. So I've got to get better at that. And then I believe we will go through till tomorrow. Yes, I mean, we, we, as, you, as is the norm with the Let's Play, our equipment is widening out. We have almost, well, we've got an awful lot of stuff. And, oh, yeah, that is true. I want to turn it to 2 o'clock because I don't want it, yeah, because there's 50 odd tons of good solid fertiliser, which is, a lot, even on hard economy, is not something to ignore. It's quite good, that is. So let's speed up to 2 o'clock and see what bang we get at 2 o'clock. Could have actually. Ooh, that's, that's not very bad at all. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah, that's, that's really is good. Yeah. Uh, 
asked me to do this. The Apollo. Let's do a few loads of work whilst we are going through the night, through the. Uh, now then, food. Yeah, I want to. Let's, let's. We've got some loose pallets. I think we're going to top up the pig food. Oh, yeah. You just. Yeah, you did it. You did. You caught it. I knew you would. I knew I would. Yeah, it's. It's one of those things. It is. It was inevitable, really. You just do your best not to, but he's going to catch you. Stone Valley taught me that when I was. I, I mean, I thought I'd done generous headlands on that, and I still managed to catch it occasionally when you're not at your best. Or yeah, right. Let's grab the loader, which is that still on the field? It is indeed. Right. So then, nothing else to bring. I think we bought everything, it was just this. So we now have the nice Albert bucket, which it, I can, even I can use, which that's, that is impressive. Yeah, so all of that, I did think at the back of my mind, is this the samurai? Is this? Because I can do it one minute and then the next minute I can't. And, and we saw that that was exactly the way that it actually worked, because it really was done. And also, I can stick that in this little alcove. Although, yeah, that's not, again, that's not. I don't like doing that, but we'll probably use the book and it's not difficult to take it out. So we need a big bag handler. I have left the other one at the shop, because so I thought that's ideal for loading. And the big bag, oh, isn't it? Yeah, but loading you would do at the shop, and unloading is what it's really good at, which you would do here. Maybe, I don't know. As possible. At the minute, I say I'm just on instincts, truthfully, because I'm not thinking very coherently. That's the shift out of it. It is sort of in the middle. I'm really, really pleased with this modding. My Keely modding. It really is fantastic. I normally have a pass through and then I have the self made way. I have not needed the self made way because it's, it's just about there. So it really is. I don't mean that. Yeah, I mean you, the self-made weight would be the one I'd probably stick because it's so reasonable. 900 for a 2.1 ton of weight is quite phenomenal. Let's grab these. And of course, some part of the tracks are right in the way. <laughs> but in my defence, I was trying to be out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Then while we're feeling in a cleaning mood, we should also look after the fabrics. Six. Yeah, when I can afford it. Oh, we can afford it. We could upgrade it now. I can't remember what this goes up to. Whether this is, I think it's roughly the same range as the we've just done the other tranche. I think it's two hundred and something horsepower. So, yeah. Oh, I've still got the narrows on. Oh yeah, no, because of the, the beat mini. I thought I'd put, but then I'm glad I did leave them uh, oh, as well. Oh, I've still got that as well. Right, let's see if we can get that to so just capture that one. And then we'll stick it on that one. Grab the two. But yeah, the only bad thing is obviously it's invisible, but it really is still there, almost like a tough pull pallet. Ooh. Can we angle that towards us? So the physics takes... Uh, Right, so we now need to go down the other ends. Mr. Angry on his uh, morning walk. See him all over the world, he's famous. Yeah, that's, that's better, you were dragging him around a bit. So this should pretty much actually fill this up. Yeah, we should be about to go where we should actually be. It's got, it has got a fully trigger. Now that I figured out the very first time that I used it, but it had gone wrong. It, it was not working. You have to be very close, very close to the bins for it actually to be working. That's the point. You need to hobble them, don't you? Yeah, it won't do the, the bottom one unless it's up in the air. We did figure this out a long time, which is why we fake the using trailers like the, the yeah the pts tps is absolutely fantastic for that you can just leave a load on and for a minute or two it'll it'll unload and then if you remind it each morning 
it'll unload again for a minute. It's just it's quite good. It's a, it's a good mechanic to know how it works. Right, while we're this close to uh, that thing, can we put some more boy wheels on? That is another reason I think this is a cracking tractor. The fact that you can actually... Oh, Yeah, it's got it's got narrows. It's a really versatile tractor. It's got some beautiful ones as well. I would love to do that. We can afford it now, really. Go on, it's going to help, isn't it? But yeah, let's do it. Oh, always forget about that. Right, so machine. Let's go and build. Uh, now then, should be getting on actually. Oh no, it's got room for a bit more. I think it's 60 odd tons, isn't it? So I think we've got another. I think the straw is still good. It's not going down a lot at all. I think we can manage three or four months of the straw being left alone before it would start to go in the orange. It starts to affect the activity, so I think we're right. Got these, this pallet and a half. I think we're going to need some more in the morning. We really have worked hard in this October, as you can see by the time. And then, yeah, we're going to have to unfortunately do this long ways, which that really makes it heavier. Can we actually change our angle? No, no, yeah, I'll get us through to November and I'm going to leave it. I'm going to do another session, hopefully, that gets us through the entire. Ooh, I would have been sensible to have an arrows on in case I'd have rolled onto the. Uh, Thing, but I suppose the, the uh, yeah, this is going to assist us really with the weights to make us a bit more stable whilst lifting, really. Yeah, that's a definitely only just there though. I think that's 1.2 tons, I'm sure this is 5.7 tons, so that is, yeah, 1.2 ton weights, 600 kilograms per side. It's not bad at all, really. Makes a lot of difference, a lot more stability. It's, it, there is always, I find, a little bit of sadness. I mean, I had the rows of the um, Reutering. They're absolutely, and I've always found that amazing, the fact that it was what it was. And obviously then you find something like the Keeler Modding Mod and you like feel a little bit disloyal because it is, it is, I mean, it's, you, you can like uh, colour it and there's just in every way it's, uh, it's heavier and also not, it's cheaper, but that's the, and it's got work lights. It's like one of those, it's like that, but with on steroids, it's really quite amazing. Right, so the look, we should be pretty much, yeah, right to the top, so it's, remind myself because sometimes late in the afternoon you can actually get I am still tempted with that because you could do your entire field in one hit and we have really got that now we, we, yeah because it, it, it why not go on let, let's do it I, I think it's just sensible right smashing so I know it's skin to this but we're about to go through now we've done all of the lifting for today, so we're just going to sleep through till tomorrow. I'm glad we did that really, yeah, I was sort of thinking, because this is 210 horsepower, so it's in the range, and those fields are not exactly hilly, apart from the hill that we've built in the middle of the, uh, in the middle of the thing, so right, we need to get out of the tractor to do sleep anyway. Yeah, we do, it's, it's, a, it's a given. Right, so let's go through till November morning, mm -hmm. 9 o'clock. We should get a bit of a tick up from our businesses. Oh, we were supposed to be saving up for a factory. Yeah, we were. My bad, again. Not th not got the plan in my head properly. We could have done that as well. We oh, weren't we supposed to be doing the cut of grass? It's not much of a saving that, it's not for the smaller version, but I suppose it is. The amount of times we've used one, it really is uh, 
probably still worth spending 10,000 being as we're short on the let's have a look at the have we got any contracts because we could really do with getting the um, 110,000 or Ooh. no there's no big liming ones they're all yeah it's not we need something quite hefty yeah we're going really quickly i don't think we can do well enough that we can actually warrant it that would be like six six and a half thousand for a fertilizer contract it's close though have the patience i think patience is, is all we really need to do yeah no no we're gonna leave it here we'll, we'll chat about that next session yeah so all i'm gonna say is thank you very much all sales mr smith no, we did. We looked. <laughs> Do we buy that? I, I like. I do like the double size of the sixty, really. But I, I mean, I have. I even buy the normal one in the sales. It's not a terribly good thing, but it's sort of nearly half price. About seventeen thousand, isn't it? I think we'll leave it. I'll lease it. Oh, yeah. With well, how many more fields are we going to? Probably a couple more uses of it we're still going to be probably stands us about seven thousand we've probably spent on that so really it's although you sort of like start to get i'd have to be still here for years and years and there'll be to be a lot of faffing around for me to actually have actually paid for which is why i started to think i've got to use leasing a bit more really i'm a terror for wanting ownership when really there's no real need for something like that that you're only using a few times in a let's play so yeah Right, so that is us done for this session. Yeah, with everything. Ooh, it's quite a bit of. Quite a bit of slurry inside. Oh, that's a point. Animals. Let's see how the animals. Because I think one of them, yeah, 75% they're going to give birth. And the other should be 50% puberty. So that's coming on nicely. Nine tons of slurry. Yeah, we could easily cycle through till next month. We're not going to, but we could. Yeah, I'm going to. That's one thing I'm going to do right now. Uh, we are going to buy some big bags so that next time we'll go and fetch some pig food we're going to get 10 again which just seems to be yeah with 10 fits nicely onto the the, the trailer really <laughs> Brilliant. Right, I'm also going to do a few of these uh, off camera as well to just fill this up because it is really, yeah, it's quite wonderful. So, yeah, we really need to get the water pumping through. Yeah, look at that. The home brood's got 26 tons of slurry. What is slowing it down then? On the home brood. Have we not switched something on on the home brood? Because it should be. There's not much manure for the herbicide, that I do realise. So the liquid fertiliser is all slurry and water. Perhaps there wasn't enough water in before this. That, that's what I'm going to say. Yeah, I definitely do think that's probably right. I'd be glad we've got more manure. Obviously, cows are on the horizon, but yeah, we've got more important things to do. Most important thing from a farm perspective is to buy the field across the way, 59, because we are going to then use this section here as the farmyard yeah we are literally going to put sheds and that uh, there and use that we uh, my friend across there allows uh, access and he's allowed access to his cows so uh, behind us and we're both happy with the arrangement to be sidridge the local community is very good about trying to support each other in that way so yeah right away we are all fairly good unless someone does that damage to our fields and that that people can actually pass so right i'm gonna leave it there yeah all that remains to be said is goodbye and now